Line plane intersections are performed frequently in computer graphics, with one notable example being during ray tracing, as the rays being cast into the scene are really just lines, and the triangle polygons that they're uh, bouncing off of are just bounded planes. The intersections between these lines and planes show where we should calculate shading information for a given polygon. If we represent a line using this equation that we've uh, just covered in a recent video, uh, we'll recall that this t value provides a way of pinpointing a location between p1 and p2, right? Just two points in space. Uh, th that's a line segment. And, and then this t value here, this allows us to define, uh, you know, some displacement, if you will, along this line segment, right? And recall that it is a, it is a value that ranges between zero, this would be t equals zero right here, and one. This would be t equals one. That'd be right at the end of the line segment. And then, of course, we can, we can extrapolate that, you know, t equals 0 0.5 would be right in the middle, and, and so on and so forth. 0 0.5 there. Now other values are possible too. Uh, if, we, if we get a t value greater than 1, then that would represent a location along this infinite line uh, that lies beyond p2. And in the same way, if we have a t value of less than 0, that would represent a location uh, somewhere before p1. So relating this to the question of line plane intersections, really what we're trying to do here is just solve for that t value along a certain line segment. If we can solve for the t value uh, at the location that, uh, that intersects this plane, well then we can pinpoint precisely a point that sits on this line. Uh, that, uh, that essentially satisfies both equations, all right? So that is what we're looking for here. So let's take a look at our plane equation here and see if we can substitute in this line equation and uh, try and isolate t. All right, so starting with the plane equation here, well, if, we, if we've defined our plane equation, then we already will have a, b, and c, right? Those are the components of our normal vector, as well as d, that is our scalar value. Now, if you recall, x, y, and z, if this equation is going to be equal to zero, x, y, and z will have to be the components of a point which lie on the plane. All right, so uh, hopefully you can start to see here where the substitution is going to come in. So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute in the formulae for the components of P0, right? P0, this is, this is the point of intersection. Point of intersection. So this is the point of intersection that we are trying to find here. So if we substitute in the formula for the x component of that point into this x component right here, then uh, th this, will, this will get us the x component of you know, whatever point uh, satisfies both equations, right? So here, here we go. We've substituted in the, the formula for the, for the x component of this point of intersection. There's that. All right, we're going to substitute in the y component as well for, for y here. And finally, the z component. Let's get that blue color. We've substituted in the z component of this line equation. And then we've got our scalar value, and that needs to be equal to 0. So, uh, well, we, we know everything except the t value now, right? We know a, b, and c, and d. That's, that's just from the, pl the plane equation. Uh, we know the x, y, z coordinates of um, uh, you know, the, the starting point of our line segment and the ending point. So we just rearrange the equation and solve for t. So back in Maya here, we're going to use 
Uh, yet again, a, a very trivial example just to help us make sure we're doing the calculation correctly and uh, also to, to visualize the results here just so that we maintain that visual intuition for all of these calculations. So we just have a plane. Actually, let's turn on the grid again. And again, we can see that this plane is just uh, really just the XZ plane. We can turn that off. And in terms of our line segment here, we have uh, P1 at uh, 0 on the X, negative 1 on the Y, and uh, uh, 0 on the Z. All right, I don't have them labeled here, but this, is, this would be P1 in our situation, and P2 up at the top here, uh, 0 on the X, 1 on the Y, and 0 on the Z. So again, just a, just a perpendicular line uh, going straight through this plane. And we're trying to figure out at what point does the line and the plane intersect. So let's do the calculation. So I'm, I'm using my plane equation here first to, to, to find the plane equation itself. Um, again, nothing has changed between this example and the, the, the one in the previous video. It is the same plane that we're defining. Uh, it is, it's just the, the, uh, the, the xz plane with the normal vector pointing in the negative y direction. And here is P1 and P2 of our line segment. Again, P1 is at 0, negative 1, 0. P2 is at 0, 1, 0. All right, so where, where along this line segment does the line intersect the plane? Well, we calculate that t value. Again, we can see that, that big long calculation written out here using the formula that I had displayed on the screen. And uh, so, so, so making use of the components of P1 and P2, as well as the, the um, A, B, C, and D of the plane equation, we will find that T is equal to 0 0.5, which makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense, right? Because, uh, well, just, even just visually taking a look at this line segment, the plane lies precisely in the middle, right? So this would, this would be at a T value of 0 0.5, representing halfway along the line segment. And, well, we, 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 don't, we don't even need to do this calculation uh, substituting our T value back into uh, the original line equation for this line, but uh, solving this line equation uh, at, at a T value of 0 0.5 gives us the coordinates 0, 0, 0, right, right at origin, right? So the point of intersection lies at 0, 0, 0. And of course, again, we, we, can, we can visually see that that is uh, exactly correct. The point of intersection is indeed at origin. All right, so that's how we do a line plane intersection.